Hey there everyone, so um, this video is an update to my previous video, which um, I made this rig here where everything uh, was animated um, with aim constraint, um, and that was building itself off of uh, an earlier video with a curve warp deformer um, using that to control this mesh. Now, I ran into an issue, or an issue was brought up to me, that I was not aware of at the time, and that is that um, things set up in this way actually start kind of flipping around. And I guess I technically saw that here, but um, I'm not sure why I didn't notice that at the time, but the problem was that since I was using this featureless cube, um, to demonstrate my idea, I didn't actually notice that there were things going wrong with it because um, I didn't have any distinguishing features uh, to take note of as I was uh, working. So um, I'm going to just ex do a little bit of extruding here just so that we have something to kind of work or something to see here. And I'll do, uh, I did this in another file too, but I'm just going to show you what I mean here. Um, and I'll leave the other side normal. So, um, what's actually happening, let me reskin this, is that um, it works some of the time, but then other times it'll start kind of flipping out. And as you can see, when we're moving the cord around, any, any, value other than just back and forth and x here it seems to be flipping around and um if you're very careful with it you can like get it to work okay but then it's going to start breaking once it gets over the middle axis apparently so because my um the way i had set up my test file wasn't uh covering all the variables then i didn't notice that problem so, I spent a very long time trying to figure out what to do to try to fix this. I went through like every possible um, edit of um, aim constraints or all this other stuff, or stripping down the, the thing and making it work with way less, uh, way fewer constraints, and um, every time I just uh, ran into this same issue. Um, so the aim constraints don't seem to like each other, and I finally found a possible workaround. It's not necessarily the greatest. Uh, not that this was the greatest either, but um, what I did is I uh, I was looking at the some of the lesser used constraints here, and I was looking at the tangent constraint. And tangent uh, we usually refers to a curve or something like that, especially the graph editor, but also physical curves. Uh, and so without even looking up what that did, which you definitely should look that up on the Maya uh, help docs, um, but I just assumed that, that would kind of work. So what I did was I applied a tangent constraint um, from the original curve, the curve that all of this, this whole rig is kind of um, based around, um, and that kind of allows this model to follow the curve to a certain degree it starts to break when this moves too far away um but uh and then i also have the point constraint and these are both just directly applied to the cube itself or the, whatever the shape happens to be so i'm no longer even using this joint in the middle that is completely not being used at all now and so this is the best i can come up with uh for the time being is uh click the curve first then this cube and then apply this tangent constraint. Um, there is one note with that, which is that I had to make sure uh, when I was applying this that um, you're putting it in the correct aim vector. So over here in the attribute editor on the constraint, you can see there's an aim vector, and I had to change that so that it's one facing in Y so that it wouldn't uh, flip out when I applied the constraint. So I didn't delete the old video because I just wanted to leave that up there because it still could be useful. Um, it's just that that uh, aim constraint situation does not seem to be 
uh, as foolproof as I thought it was. So try the tangent constraint and uh, see how that works out for you.